folks in the audience, I know it's busy. It's September. You're thinking, how am I going to get all these meals made and get organized? How about batch cooking and freezing? Marilyn Smith is going to show you how to do it. <laughs> be and do, but it takes some planning. You have to think about it, you know, think about it on a Sunday. What right. am I going to be cooking for the week? Yep. And make a lot of it. Make a lot. You know, I mean, I've just got enough for one, well, I've got some I, I can freeze, but I would double all this. Right. So that you've got, and so you've got all the stuff anyway. Yeah. And so you're chopping and dicing and doing all, just do it all at just once. Just make more. Just make more. And yeah. you know what? Uh, when your kids get older, you can actually freeze them in smaller portions and then they can pop things into the freezer, themselves. out of the freezer and do it themselves. So it's true. you know what? You start off early you do it good and uh, you know I not to take a lot of credit but my son's 26 and he does this He's stuff good now yeah and Andrew's you know what? doing it all himself he is and he may be in therapy for something else I've done to him <laughs> but <laughs> He's, but he can, he's, cook. he can cook. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> yeah. I, anyway, uh, sidebar, when, I, when he was little, when I was an actress, I would practice all my accents on his friends, you know? And he'd go, Mom, stop! They think you're crazy! Anyway, so it's like, but it he's worked. He's traumatized in oh, all yeah, different right. ways. Yeah. Oh, yeah, exactly. But he can cook. He can cook. Right and that on. is the point. Right. Okay, so now I, on a mission, yeah. to get people to eat more pulses, lentils, chickpeas, you're, beans. You're big on that, and I'm it's because big. it's so important for your health. In, in fiber and vitamins yeah. and mineral, the whole shebang, right? Mm -hmm. And so I've been trying to just make, you know, total lentil things total. And people aren't doing it. They're, They're not, not jumping on the it. bandwagon. So I thought, <laughs> let's put it with beef. Yeah, let's do that. So, and it works because people okay. are going, there's lentils in this? Yeah. So um, I it's don't smart. believe in smoke and mirrors, but for something like this is a stepping stone mm -hmm. to get your family more. And it, it's economical because we're cutting our, basically our beef recipe in half. That's true. And we're supplementing it with lentils. Okay? So it's going to so, be Sloppy Joe's sloppy in the Joe's, end. But we're going to use lentils with the beef. Right. And um, Sloppy Joe's one of those recipes people have been relying on for a long time. It's kind of iconic, you it's know? It's a little iconic. It is. Uh, a little traditional. Right. But, and you, de you sort of decide how sloppy you want the sloppy to be. Totally. Right? Right. Okay. And I wear white a lot, so we don't do big sloppy because I'm right. going to wear it anyway. But it's going to be you know, on you. You're going to cut it down. So I put a whole bunch of garlic in because garlic's so healthy. Just Smells another reminder. Does it smell good? Mm -hmm. Honestly. Uh, just a reminder that the, the, the finer you chop it or mince it, the stronger it's going to be. Really? But yeah. So if you have oh. it in big hunks, it's not going to be as garlicky. Okay. But, and I turned the stove off. And Great. Uh, yeah. That's going to be awesome That's for the gonna recipe. That's going to be awesome for the recipe. So we're going to be eating every all the beef's cooked. So you brown the beef, you put the garlic in, yeah. um, and just back to the, the, the size of the garlic. So it calls for um, two cloves, and once again, I keep talking That's about humongous. this is really sizing, this size matters huge, yeah. So, but it's Ontario garlic, it's, it's fresh, and that's how big they are. So yeah. that's going to really be about four cloves of garlic, okay? So right. when I call for one, but this is good because, you know, if you only have to cut up one hunk of garlic, I think that's it's going better. to be for four, yeah. I mean, that's, you know, you've already done it. So, so I love I love big garlic, okay? Right. So we've got that in there. We're going to brown that with the onion. And when that's all kind of browned up, we're going to be adding uh, oregano, uh, cracked pepper, mm -hmm. some dried basil. This is all dried. And uh, iodized salt. Once again, I talk about iodine in our diet. Isn't that interesting how the humidity it made it stick bit. there already? Yep. Okay, and then you would brown that up too. And when you cook the onion and they're a little bit softer, you notice I didn't take the beef out. It's all one pot. I want to try to make your life easier. Yes. A lot of recipes say take it out, forget about Why it. Why do they say take it out? Oh, because they to want to brown the, the onions, onions better. better. Yeah, and you know what? It's all mushed up anyway. Who cares? Okay, right. so. And then, <laughs> it's true. And then I do my shopping at Metro, but I like their house labels because they're usually more inexpensive, yep. but they're high quality. This is the irresistible. So I put sun dried tomatoes in. In there. Oh, that's and a good idea. That's going to give it a depth a of twist. flavor, a twist, but it's also giving us a whole bunch of lycopene, uh, which is that mm. antioxidant in tomatoes. So everything I cook is got a reason, okay? Yeah. The, all these ingredients have reasons. I and like then that. we're going to add the, the can of uh, rinsed and drained uh, lentils. Is there anything else that you had to do with these lentils? No. No. You no, just, just rinse, rinse them and, and drain them. Yeah. Now, you can use dried ones if you want and pre cook, but you know what? That's, That's another a lot of work. step. Yeah, and you know, but if you want to do that, good for you. You know, send them to my house. I'd appreciate it, but you know, <laughs> I, I I kind of prioritize where I'm going to put my extra work in, and I that's agree. not one of them. Right. So that this is too small.
small now. And I said, you know, I need a frying pan because I think the pot's too big and the pot would have been better. Anyway, and then we're <laughs> going to add crushed tomatoes. Now, uh, I was talking to uh, Danny, the sound guy, he goes, why are you using canned tomatoes in tomato season? Right. Because I'm trying to make your life easier too. Yes, let's but, be realistic. But so if you want to put your real fresh tomatoes in, go for it. You Good totally for you. can. But you want to you smush them You're up. You're still so. going to do it even though there's no room? Oh, yeah, just go for it. Ah, we're going to hope for the best. It. Okay, there you go. It all uh, it'll, fits. It'll all fit. Okay, not really. Anyway, nope. and you know what? Not at all. I got to tell you, this is one really important thing. So when I say a large frying pan, I mean it. <laughs> and I didn't, <laughs> I didn't believe myself this morning. So anyway. Could you yeah, listen to her? Because she would. doesn't listen to her. I don't listen to me. So no. it should have been a large one. Um, you're going to cook it up for about 25 minutes. Put it on a whole grain ciabatta. Serve it with some coleslaw. I like that you did it with because it, you, if it's a soft bun, it's like mush. Yeah, but some people like that. I some people like are into the mush. mush. I don't like the mush either. No, For me, the ciabatta. more bread, the better. Always. It's like, almost I like my rule bread. in life. You, really? I, yes. well, you're, that's why you're my best friend. Okay. Absolutely. Now, okay. freezing. Okay, so you could freeze it. The whole thing, you could freeze it. You know, you could freeze it in portions. Yep. Uh, I found this really cool thing called Shape and Store. And you, where do you see this? This is the coolest thing. So when it's cooled down, you put it into oh. this container. And then you put the lid on and freeze it. This is by a Canadian, a, a Canadian a girl. That I, I'm so awesome. happy. And then you pop them out. In and individuals. Then individuals. And I, I pop them out and put them into other freezer bags. But you could just do them like that. And then when you're, you know, your kids get home and, and they got to go to hockey, you go, you know, pop out a... Pop out some of the sloppy joe and yes. microwave that, toast yourself a bun, and dinner's ready. That is so Isn't smart. Isn't that and so And it's going to come out so easily because, because this silicone. is a silicone. And there's a whole bunch of different shapes and stuff, and I, I am really, this is so smart. I yeah. can't believe a home economist didn't do it, but a Canadian girl did. And she, awesome. cheers to her. Yeah, and I like when, supporting Canadians. When our experts find something that works for them and we're able to bring it on the show, right. I think it's a good, it's a win-win for everybody. I think so, so 